Um, the Wall Street Journal, which did more laundering and legitimizing of Donald Trump's presidency than perhaps any other outlet, they are as culpable as any news organization in this country for his presidency and his ongoing viability as a political figure. Charlie Sykes, they write this. This continues Trump's attacks on Elaine Chao, Mr. McConnell's wife, for being Chinese-American. Her real offense was resigning as transportation secretary after Trump's disgraceful behavior on January 6th. His feud with McConnell is also personal, as the Kentucky senator condemned Trump's January 6th actions and hasn't spoken to him since. But the death wish rhetoric is ugly, even by Trump's standards, and deserves to be condemned. Trump's apologists claim he merely meant McConnell has a political death wish. But that's not what he wrote. It's all too easy to imagine some fanatic taking Trump seriously and literally and attempting to kill McConnell. Let me read that again. Wall Street Journal today warns its readers this. It's all too easy to imagine some fanatic taking Trump seriously and literally and attempting to kill McConnell. Many supporters took Trump's rhetoric about former Vice President Mike Pence all too seriously. So this is why this is our lead story, Charlie Sykes. A Wall Street Journal is today warning mm -hmm. that, quote, some fanatic could take Trump seriously and literally. Now, they're seven years too late to the parade, but I welcome them.